night, like I'm out super late at night, and there's only like four women that do comedy. There's just, it's, that's just how it is, and it sucks, and one of us is black, so clearly it's me. And, um, <laughs> so I'm, but I'm out late at night all the time, and um, usually at bars and, and seedy, shitty pieces of town, um, like Deep Ellum. And <laughs> it is. <laughs> I love Deep Ellum, I live there at night, creature feature so but it's weird because like I'll I'll be leaving and like all the guys will want to walk the other girls to their car especially the ones that they want to like fuck or whatever but they'll walk them to their car and they're always just like hey Samantha where's your car and she's like oh I just parked underneath that light right there and it was really nice and that's my impression of a girl I don't um <laughs> That's, uh, I just parked underneath that line. I can get to my car, it's totally fine. And they always walk them to their car. And then when it gets to be my turn, they're like, Rachel, where'd you park? And I'm like, I'm all the way on the other side of Rape Alley. Um, <laughs> that is where I am. And it's always just like, okay, cool, awesome. You, you good? Awesome, bye. And then they just, oh. and they just leave. And I'm forced to like walk through like sexual assault lane and down, <laughs> like, but it's, it would be sad, you guys, but what makes it terrible is like, at, if you're walking around night in Deep Ellum as a woman, you get a lot of guys to come up to you, usually asking for money, probably sex, I don't know. <laughs> um, but like, they come at you in a very aggressive way, and it's like they see me and they just go, hey, can't, never mind. And they just, <laughs> <laughs> just leave. It's like, even the, even the rapist doesn't want me. That's really sad, you guys. No one, no one, no one wants to rape me. Um, it's not, that's not a good thing, you guys. It's never cool, it's no means no. But um, it just pisses me off when a lot of my friends, like girl, friend girls, they're not my girlfriends, friend girls, will um, say like, oh, this guy sent me this like random message on Facebook about how he wants to have sex with me. And I'm just like, take the compliment, bitch. Because we don't all get them. And I one day pray, that my mailbox is full of dick pics. Um, <laughs> just full of them. I'll send you dick pics. <sighs> uh, okay. uh, Alright. Um, so I don't know if you guys notice this or not, but I'm black. And, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but being black in America is real popular right now. <laughs> um, it's not. It's totally, it's, it was weird. Um, she's here and she's black and that made me so much more comfortable. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's just like, ugh. Melanin, great, another person. <laughs> um, but I, because of it, and I'm, uh, where I work and just the people that I hang around, I get a lot of people coming up to me um, like I'm the damn information center for all African Americans. Um, I, I just learned what truffle butter means. Please don't come fucking ask me what that is, all right? Um, if you don't know, I really don't want to tell you. <laughs> but it's just sex and ass and it's a lot of gross um, things. But. It's gross. I'll say a lot of things on stage and I'm not explaining what the fuck truffle butter is. Um, that's like me telling you what the lemon party was, which I just found out about. It's too far, it is too much. Um, but I get a lot of that, um, which is fine, I guess. If you don't know, you don't know, and I'd rather you asked and just make some stupid opinion over it. But like, I hear people that I know say just some of the dumbest shit. Um, when they think I'm not there or I'm not listening. Like I was at work and this, um, co my coworker, older, older white lady, she was explaining to a new hire who I was. She, we were like sharing desk. And she's like, Rachel, you know, uh, she has uh, big hair, uh, she's uh, black and um, yeah. That was it, no, that was the end, that was the end of the description. Because I've been working there for two years. I've known this woman for two years and she came up with, she's black. Um, 
which is annoying as hell because there's so many other things she could have said, right? She could have said, oh yeah, yes, she is black and yes, her hair is big. She's also very tall. She's also gets drunk way too often at public functions and at work functions. She almost got fired. Like there's so many other things that she could have listed off that are way more important than the fact that I am black. Um, but I guess, it, whatever. You know, it, <laughs> I'm used to it at this point. Um, people just say the weirdest things. I get mistaken for a lot of people all the time because we all look alike. And um, I get mistaken for a lot of other people. Um, I went to Chili's by myself, naturally. Um, because I was feeling really bad about myself, so I went to Chili's. <laughs> um, McDonald's was full. So I went to Chili's, and I, I actually I was there to just write and just kind of be quiet, you know? And um, I walked in, and the hostess, this very young white girl, she goes, oh my God, we've been waiting on you. And I thought maybe this was like a new welcome tactic at Chili's, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, welcome to the party. Um, <laughs> We have to wait 15 minutes for a table. But I walked in, she's like, oh, we've been waiting for you. And I was like, okay, awesome. So she's like, follow me. And I went, all right. <laughs> and uh, so I followed her. She took me back to, um, like, towards the back where they just had a bunch of tables. And it was just um, a crowd full of black people that I've never seen before in my entire life. Oh, no. And I just went, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't know these people. And she was like, oh, I just assumed because you looked and then, all right, do you just need one at the table by yourself? I was just like, wow. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just take a table. It's, again, it's, I'm used to it, you guys. It's, unfortunately, I'm used to being mistaken for large groups of black people or just random black people. I get mistaken all the time for like, FN, who, Gabrielle Union, you guys heard of her? Woo! Yeah, bring it on, like Gabrielle Union, I get that one a lot. I get, I get Solange, Beyonce's sister, um, I get Idris Elba a lot. Master P, <laughs> Master P, if you guys remember him, that happens a lot. Beyonce, um, Halle Berry, naturally. Um, Stedman, which is Oprah's boyfriend. Um, a lot of people say I look like a Mick Cafe commercial, so that's fun. <laughs> And then mostly just the entire cast of Orange is the New Black. That's what I normally get when people are saying, I look like. That was an applause, Blake. Hope that camera got it. Uh, but it does happen a lot. And it's, you know, I know everyone's trying to be politically correct, um, but I think that's what's fucking up everything. Um, Again, if we were just okay with hating someone's child, or um, <laughs> it would be a little easier, you know, just a little. I get a lot of white people trying to touch my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Do I look like a goddamn Chia pet? No. It is real, it does not come off. You can't push a button and it doesn't grow out of the top of my head. I'm not a fucking Barbie doll, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Um, but no, you can't touch my hair, all right? And I'll, I'm gonna leave it on this. So uh, this, this one lady, white lady, I was at work and she goes, oh my God. Like this, this is my impression of a white woman. Oh my God, um, is that your hair? Because I know a lot of you don't wear it. And I was like, all right. Um, see where this conversation is going. And she's like, I know a lot of you like don't wear your own hair. I mean, if it is your hair, that's amazing. If it wasn't, that pissed me off too. Because if it wasn't my hair, were you going to take your compliment back and then tell me I look like shit? Like, why would you say that? Why would you start off like that? And she goes, oh, is that your hair? And I was like, yeah, it uh, grows from uh, my follicles. So yes, thank you. And she's like, well, it's beautiful. And then um, she did the thing that all of you need to stop doing right now, where she reached her hand in um, like she was about to fucking suck my brain out or something. <laughs> she started to reach her hand in my head, um, which automatically, all black women know this, where you just you see this motion and you automatically go. <laughs> First of all, 
first thing you learn as a black child, don't ever let anyone touch your hair. And that's what I did, I just backed up. And she goes, oh no, I just wanna touch it, I just wanna see if it's real, like, cause it looks, it just looks so pretty and healthy and how soft, and da da da. So for the first time ever in my life, I let a white woman that I don't know touch my hair. And I let her dig all up in there, you guys. <laughs> and then when she stopped, um, I immediately went in to her and I just started slapping her tits back and forth. Just like back and forth, up and down, like all around. And she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I, I don't wanna ask, are those real? Are those real? They weren't. All right, that was my time, you guys, thanks. Thank you so much.